This video number 41 of your Firearms Defense Channel. Uh, this is going to be another tie-in with video 20. I received a lot of commentary on video number 20 that uh, you can't dispose of uh, someone who breaks into your home if you kill them because the police will find out about it and you'll get in big trouble and all that uh, good stuff and you really have to be concerned about that. Now, the first thing is I think everybody's been watching too many of these television shows like CSI Miami and stuff like that. There's probably a half a dozen of these things on television uh, during the week, you know, and people watch them and there's all these hot chicks and uh, young guys bending over microscopes, you know, peering into them, searching for every little bit of evidence, uh, you know, to solve these murders and stuff like that. And you watch too many of these shows and you get the idea that's what happens in real life. Well, that's not the, that's not the case at all. They got tons of unsolved murders and stuff like that. Here's the type of crime that the police does solve. This is Wednesday, February 10th, 2010's edition of the Daily Breeze here. And right on the front page, cops, man asks schoolboys for urine. This 18-year-old uh, guy, Kevin Emanuel uh, Duran, he went into a school and asked, uh, went into the restroom and asked uh, grade school boys to pee in a cup for him and offered him a couple of bucks so he could uh, take these clean samples and I guess sell to his friends so they could pass the drug test and stuff like that. And the, the cops nailed this dude cold because uh, he was caught on video and everything else. And it's right on the front page here is a big example of the crime uh, that gets solved. Now here's what they don't show you. I want to show you this. Back on page number seven here in the back kind of right in the middle actually it's not even in the back because people read the back they don't read the middle part here's a police log for the beach cities all the burglaries that take place uh and yeah, charges fire filed against man and random attacks right here at the top i want to read these two right here at the top for you wanted woman missing missing for four months her name is dawn Vians, V I E N S, Lomita. Detectives are seeking information in the disappearance of Dawn Vians, a 39 year old Lomita woman who has been missing since October 18th. Vians was last seen at Thine Restaurant in Lomita where she worked with her husband. Vians is 5 foot 7 inches tall and 110 pounds with red hair and brown eyes. She has a tattoo of a yellow butterfly on her right hip and a star on her outer ankle. Anyone with information should contact detectives at 323-890-5500. Uh, well, that's excusable and understandable because uh, to be perfectly candid, Lamita isn't one of our better areas. It's full of illegals and gangbangers and people like that and it's a little bit of a marginal area. So, but now this next one, this gentleman's name is Jeffrey Titus, T-I-D-U-S. Attorney's killer still at large, Rolling Hills Estates. Rolling Hills Estates is a pristine area up in Palos Verdes uh, where the homes go for three mil and up. I mean, this area is a bastion of white supremacy. It's absolutely pristine. Rolling Hills Estates. Detectives continue to seek the public's help as they try to solve the slaying of attorney Jeffrey Titus. Titus, 53, was shot December 7th outside his home in the 4600 block of Sugar Hill Drive when he went to retrieve a laptop computer from his car. The partner in the firm of Bauti, B-A-U-T-E, and Titus, T-I-D-U-S, in downtown Los Angeles died the next morning. Anyone with information is asked to contact homicide detectives at 323-890-5500. And here's the funny part. Information can be submitted anonymously because uh, everybody assumes it might be gang related and the witnesses are reluctant to come forward, which they, they probably are anyway. I'm sure that just like everywhere else out here, no one really wants to get involved. So, see, these are the crimes that don't get solved. These are the ones that are, they don't tell you about. You see the big headlines on the front page and you 
see him solve this type of crime, and you get the idea that, my God, the police are everywhere. But you read page seven back there, and these two people have been dead for several months, and there's, they're not even close to solving these crimes. And you get a real idea, the real truth about what's really happened. And the truth is, it's up to you. You're on your own. You've got to take care of yourself. Uh, if you don't do it, nobody else is. So that'll do it for video 41 here, and I'll see you on video number 42.